mean, I I'm ready to see some good melee. I don't, I don't know about you. Is this what is this round three? So, I, I don't know. But uh, they actually do go to FD in the first turnip that Hood Melon pulls out is a stitch. Oh, it's typical. A brutal double stitch base hit that kills Corey. Wow, Hood Melon. That's pretty brutal. Yo, look right. at that mustache, bro. Yo, but that mustache is serious, man. I'm gonna grow one, man. If I started maining Peach, I would grow one just so I could pull like a god. It's worth it, I swear. Pull kind of like a god. Alright, Cory's... Due to that stitch, Cory's got quite the uh, road to climb ahead of him. Actually, not really. He just needs to kill... Uh, Hoodmelon. Bah. He does that a lot, actually. I noticed Hoodmelon kind of just slips past the ledge. Yeah, it's like just sleeping on the magnet. It's okay though, we're, we're, we're evened up, we're evened up. Unless... Oh my... Oh, okay. Yeah, when Peach is down smashing you, you have to really... Uh, Yo, press, Honey Blunt. Press any direction other than down. Oh, or if you are going to press down, you got to attack the first hit. You know? So... Yeah, after this for that reason in particular, Peach can equalize comebacks, equalize the percents and stuff. Ooh, that was a tech chase. You should have tech chased after that. Forward X. That was really the only option you had there. Oh man, you gotta, you gotta react a little better to that, Corey. These, these could have been punishes that might have ended the stock, might have uh, tied up the percents, but instead. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Oh, no grab? What the heck, dude? Man, Corey, uh, he doesn't. Why, why would he want to grab? Man, he's trying to make a smoothie. Man, he's trying. He's trying to put our boy Corey, the people's champion, in that blender. Man, no, I'm saying Corey should have grabbed when he missed when Hoodmo missed the down smash. Oh. oh well, Peach has yeah. tennis rackets and golf clubs, so he probably wasn't trying to catch a domestic case. Oh! Oh my like God! So, funny thing about that, I do that all the time. Oh, do you the now? Thing, oh. the thing okay. Is, no, no, no. But listen, the thing is, it does, it's not a true thing. It, it's not supposed to work if the Peach knows or, or is aware that that is a thing you could do it's really just a read it's it's one of those smash four things where you literally just hard read them to go for the up smash like i see sheik do that in smash four all the time so like that's that's it really only works if they're unaware of it or they don't expect it and it's really scary if you don't expect it because it kills you at like 80. in a matchup like this it's it's really it's such a big deal to kill people to you know Yo, uh, pocket pa pussy. I mean, uh, pocket pop it. Um, Jesus, Jesus, our boy, the beloved Hood Melon, is actually going up against a good player. I'm not sure who you are, if you're aware of this, but Corey and Hood Melon are a good match. Corey is actually a, a prime sheep player for the South Florida region. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. His brother is also a, a very good Fox player. Oh, oh, what's up, Paula? What's going on? Uh, glad you're enjoying this commentary. Uh, apologize for the uh, mispronunciation of your name. Uh, yeah, so moving forward. Bruh, uh, I know. Okay, you're good. Uh, glad we reconciled this. Okay, I have high, I have high faith in Hoodmon. Hoodmon's gonna thug it out right here. He's gonna pull up a bomb. He's gonna pull a stitch face. He's gonna you know, leave Corey looking at the screen confused. Oh, that was so risky. That was so risky. If Hoodmelon like rolled up or something, that could have been too. It's uh, it's it's tough. I feel like Hoodmelon's actually pretty good against G. Um, but it's just I don't know. But Corey's a step ahead right now. So good stuff for Corey. Game one. Uh, is that really how you spell Corey's name? I thought it was just C O R Y. I don't know. I'm gonna go get Honey Bunts to continue commentating. I apologize again for the mispronunciation of, of your name, Paula. If I had known that was you, I probably would have pronounced it correctly. Let me grab Honey Blunts and I'm gonna go play my rounds. Uh, have a good time, uh, Twitch chat. My boy Prof will uh, take it from here and uh, let's go, Hood Melon. Wow, Corey's actually. Oh my gosh. Hey, what Prof. A wow, what a yeah. start. Yeah, this guy has the haircut of a champion. Who, oh, Corey? Yeah. He just looks like a champion. <laughs> oh, the score. Yeah, uh, Corey did take game one. So, Hoodmelon, this is a pretty standard uh, counterpick from Peach in this matchup. 
that he can do the platform to just so... Like, so the down smash is at high level. Yeah, it's very, very difficult once you get down smash to avoid multiple hits. Yeah, he just tried... I think, oh, um... Corey! Oh, Corey! Ooh. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna... Okay, that's nice. Oh, that's okay. Corey's just playing so well right now. He's mm -hmm. facing around all the counter hits that Peach's throwing out, and he's just... You know, putting the work down. He's he's playing in a way where he's not getting hit. That's that's what's important. Is that? Yeah, because you don't want to. You definitely don't want to try. Ooh. You can keep hitting Peach as much as you want as long as you're not getting hit. You're winning. That's. I feel like that's just the answer. Because like she's not a character you can crouch cancel very often. Like no. That. You can trade hits with. That's, that's what Peach wants. Yeah. I I told him it was C O R Y. Yeah, you should change Party's name to C O R Y. I knew it. Um, yeah. So, slight technical difficulty. Anyway. So right now, I think what Corey should be looking out for is that Melon is like probably being like really anxious right now. He's, I don't know, he has like a really bad lead, right? Or deficit. Corey, honestly, Corey's just playing this so, so textbook, so nice, so clean. Mm -hmm. Love it. There's some opportunities where he could grab instead of doing what he's doing. Oh, that was a nice... Actually, you know, maybe he should have gone for up tilt. Yeah, at that percent, you can definitely combo break her out of that. Yeah, Nair, maybe not the best at that percent. Or, yeah, especially if she DI'd in like that. I feel like up tilt. I, I'm personally, I'm still working on finding like a, a really good punish for that specific scenario. But, uh, what if you were to just like, like... Just wait a second? Yeah, like wave dash back, see what she does, and then go for something. I don't know, cause like the true combo would be like you, you wait until she's as low as she possibly could be while still in hit stun from the down throw, and then go for the up tilt. And since she died in on the down throw, the up tilt would hit both hits unless you smash the eyes like I got. And if the up tilt hits both hits, you can get a fair into forward tilt and another fair stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's it's I don't know, it's it's tough. It's it's very very confusing, very mysterious <laughs> punish game between these two characters. Mm -hmm. Like very hard. Uh, right now, Corey seems to be running away with nice needles. Oh my, Ooh. he could have just grabbed uh, ended it, but he chose to go for the extra mile. And that was amazing. Backers him. Good stuff to Corey.